my name is Valerie. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys an amazing book written by my favorite author. And while being very fun, it is also a heartwarming and personal story. Read with Val. Read on, have fun, and dream big. So this book is called Finally Seen by Kelly Yang. And it is a realistic fiction novel. And I would rate it a 10 out of 10. So the main character in this book is Lena Gao, a 10-year-old. And that is her on the cover. And Lena lives with her grandma and uh, in China. While the rest of her family, her younger sister, Millie, and her mom and her dad live in Los Angeles. And the reason why they are separated is because, um, well, it's a reason that Lena's mom will tell you later on in the story and that um, I don't want the, I don't want to spoil it for you guys. So read to find out why Lena's mom left Lena in China. Lena ends up moving to the United States, leaving her grandma in China and uh, going to re- connect and move in with her uh, like family. She does feel bad because her grandma has raised her and taken care of her, taken very good care of her. And Lena feels very sad and I'm sorry that she's leaving her grandma behind, but she's also excited for um, a new like beginning and a new chapter. This book is an immigration story as Lena um, immigrates from China to the United States to um, be with her family. And all of the books that Kelly Yang has written um, have been, uh, have had like a part in it that is about immigration. So like in the Front Desk series, um, even though Mia Tang was born in the United States, her parents immigrated from China to um, the U.S. and that plays a very big role in their everyday life as well as here and of course she's really scared because she doesn't know really what to expect um, and she doesn't understand English like at all and she um, can't speak English and can't read or write it either. So when she comes to America, she is um, greeted by her family, but some things aren't really expected. When Lena was in China and separated, they wrote letters to each other and um, uh, Lena's family wrote that they live in a very pretty like blue house and that uh, uh, Lena's dad is a scientist. And while Lena's dad is a scientist, he really is a farmer and works for a very mean guy who is hard on um, Lena's dad. And Lena's mom is out of work and instead is trying to start a bath bomb business on Etsy, which has a less steady income, but they are doing everything they can to get by. And they don't live in a pretty blue house they live in a really cramped apartment so lena isn't really expecting this but she's trying to go with the flow and just kind of reconnect and find a place in her parents heart this is very hard because millie has taken up most of their attention millie is lena's younger sister and she makes everything seem so easy including speaking english and being very social and outgoing so the title of the book is finally seen and it's for a reason because Lena has spent so much of her life not being seen by her parents, um, not being seen by her, the world. Her grandma um, instilled in her that just get by, keep your head down and get by. And so Lena's always had this feeling of like, I got to be sort of invisible and just um, not make any noise and any drama. And when she comes to America, it's like, it's the same thing at her school, but she gets to speak up in some um, places, in some uh, like situations. And she feels like, at the end, she feels like she's finally seen by her school 
and her family. Um, this is the cover and Lena is the girl here in watermelon shorts. Millie is a girl with the bear backpack. And that's the dad, the farmer, and Pete, the very mean boss. And this is uh, Lena's mom. And the entire thing, the white part, is Pete's house. And right here is a small house where um, Lena's soon-to-be friend lives who also works on the farm. And as you can see, their car is duct taped and very, very um, dirty and old, which kind of like the context clues um, shows that they are not a very well off family. Um, and even though it might seem like this is their house, it's really not. And it's really the boss's house. So I hope everyone enjoys this book as much as I do. I recommend it to kids between the ages um, 9 through uh, 13. Remember to read on, have fun, and dream big. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!